Okay, back here with 2001 Monte Carlo uh, build, uh, engine swap project, uh, update number 7. Um, I think this might be the second to last video I'm making this shit. Uh, I'm fucking tired. It's been about 23 hours of straight work. And this is the old product right here. And the new product is inside the car already. Uh, it's about 3 p.m. I have a 5 o'clock deadline today to get everything connected. And maybe fire out the engine. So I'm I'm pretty well in two hour uh I'm in a two hour range right now. Uh, mainly the, the the engine uh I feel like the timing the timing went off and uh, you know the cylinders and uh, harmonic balance everything else got destroyed and I don't know how other people feel about it but. Personally, to me, if uh, if an internal part of the engine is fucked up, you got to strip it all down and rebuild. I don't have time for that. So, I just took the chance of getting a used engine that I, I'm sure was working and drop it to the car. Only problem was, new uh, new used engine don't come with much. You have to take all the accessories and all that new shit that you put into the other engine and bring it back to the used engine. But yeah, this this uh this is the product right here. It look like a fucking mess. The funny part about it is I know where everything goes. After you've done this three times in a row. Yeah, this is my third time pulling in an uh, engine in and out of this car. This is my first time putting another engine in it. Other than the original that I purchased it with. But yeah, uh it's very 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 labor intensive. And you gotta pay attention to detail, cause if you leave a screw behind and you tighten, you didn't tighten the screw that's behind the exhaust, underneath the exhaust, you know you're basically fucked. You have to pull everything back out and do it all over again, whether you like to or not. But in this case, I'm not letting that shit happen to me. So you know, I've double checked everything, triple checked some things, just to make sure things are are, are right where they need to be. Um. This is a 3800 L67. Uh, I think it's a 231 cubic feet, some shit. Uh, these engines are they're they're good, but they're they're also bullshit. So I don't too much like them. Um, GM could have did better, but who am I? I'm just a spectator, so it don't really matter what I say. Unfortunately, I own one of these. I've always wanted a Monte Carlo, so. I went and bought one, uh, tweaked it out, made it how I wanted it, and yeah, uh, you can't have a nice car with no engine in it. So that was the purpose of making this, uh, purpose of uh, getting a new engine to put in. Uh, the car never really went anywhere, everything's still intact. Still got the music, uh, I did take the yellow top off, and the battery up front as well. But, uh, you know, everything else is intact. In Got the oil, fluid, everything waiting to go into the new engine. So, right now it's just a guessing game of when am I going to be able to start this thing. Um, I want to be done by today, but it could be another project tomorrow. But this is a quick update. Uh, hard work in progress. Uh, the engine is not even bolted down. It's just sitting, it's sitting on, on, on the mounts where it's supposed to go. But it's not bolted down. Um, hopefully, uh, things will work out for me and I'll be able to start this car today before 5 o'clock. This is a quick update. Engine swap, 90% complete. Now I just have to do wiring and putting uh, external uh, accessory drives uh, back to the engine. And that's about it. Hopefully, I get to start by 5 o'clock.